The year is 2033. Rows and rows of people are ushered through narrow captivity corridors by the robot overlords. The sharp smell of fire and ash is making people gasp for the air. The humanoid robots are scaring, capturing, and hunting people. AI finally took over. What's that? It's 2023? It's not 2033? AI hasn't dominated the world yet? Okay, phew. So if AI hasn't yet dominated the world, what can it do? Well, according to UiPath's business description, AI can help organizations scale digital business operations rapidly. It can save businesses a lot of money. But is a stock such as UiPath fundamentally strong and worth investing in? More importantly, is it priced cheaper than AI stocks such as NVIDIA, giving us room to grow without taking the high valuation risk? Today, we will discuss all that and research UiPath fundamentally to decide whether it is worth investing in and holding for the long term before AI overlords take over the world. Let's talk about that. I'm Huda Mayer, founder and CEO of Starcard, and on this channel, I share detailed fundamental analysis and interesting investment stories. Artificial intelligence is the talk of the town these days. Just recently, we saw NVIDIA's stock jumped more than 25% in one day after announcing a surprising revenue forecast thanks to heightened demand for data centers that can handle generative AI applications. I posted a detailed review of NVIDIA's stock a few days back, and I'll share a link to it in the show notes. The gist of it is that NVIDIA is great, but too expensive which means if we are not investing in NVIDIA, what do we invest in that benefits from the same trends and has solid operations while it is not priced as the next best thing after the slice spread? UiPath could fit that description. At least that's what Kathy Wood and the ARK Invest team of innovation-obsessed investors believe in. The stock is priced eight times its sales, much cheaper than NVIDIA's 37 times price to sales ratio. Let's dig into UiPath's top and bottom lines, revenue and profit trends and directions, balance sheet strength, and free cash flow status, and decide whether it is worth paying the eight times price to sales ratio for the stock. UiPath makes money by selling other companies the licenses to use its automation software or paying a subscription fee to access its platform on the cloud. The next few sentences and paragraphs are the results of three hours of me watching videos and demos on UiPath's website to understand what exactly the company's products do. Let's say you work in the sales department of a tech company. Your salespeople sell something to your customers and they upload and update their sales record on the Salesforce system. Now the customer expects the process to start so that they can receive what they bought, but the fulfillment happens on another system. You, the employee of the sales department, need to download the files from Salesforce and upload them to the fulfillment system and make sure the accounting department has received the payment. All these are tedious work. Take hours and make your life miserable because with the next customer order, you have to repeat the whole process again and again, and again. And God forbid if the customer changes his mind in the middle or someone in accounting forgets to upload the files you sent him or her into the system. 
You see, when you are a pass, you connect all these systems together and set them up to work harmoniously. Every time a new order comes in, you set it up once and you are done. That's the automation UI path talks about. Now, sometimes there are errors or unknown things happen in this process that you are still not aware of. That's where UI passes artificial intelligence and machine learning features and capabilities come in. They are trained to detect potential errors or other steps in the process that you as a human are not ready yet to automate. Where does generative AI come in? Well, if any time in the process you want to ask for the report of the status of the orders or number of errors detected and prevented, you can type in a chat GPT-like system and get a summarized answer and report. This whole process automation is very valuable for companies because it speeds up critical business processes, reduces errors, and opens up hours of employees' time to become more productive and work on higher value activities. No wonder why UiPath has grown its revenue by 42% annually compounded to 1.3 billion in annual recurring revenue in the first quarter of this year. Growth in recent years has slowed down slightly to 28% year over year and 17% quarter over quarter. But still, the company is growing. While UI passes operations weren't profitable in the latest quarter, the company has been profitable in the past. And by adjusting numbers for non cash expenses, such as stock based compensation, the operations are still profitable in the latest quarter too. Similarly, it used to generate free cash flow in the past, and in the latest quarter, it's free cash flow positive on a non gap basis. Most of the adjustments are attributed to the cash used in purchases of marketable securities. Ideally, you'd want a company that generates free cash flow consistently and doesn't need adjustments to show positive figures, but it's still it's good to see non-GAAP free cash flow. The good news is that UiPath holds nearly $2 billion in cash and cash equivalents with no significant debt, giving it a resilient balance sheet. We can be comfortable knowing that. The company has enough cash to reinvest in its future, even if it doesn't generate free cash flow for a quarter or so. Before summarizing UiPath's fundamental analysis that we discuss now and deciding whether its valuation is justified, let me invite you to look up the company's stock card to research it on your own. I leave a link to its stock card in the show notes. If UI path isn't up to your liking, but you still want to research AI stocks, type artificial intelligence in the search bar and get the list of AI stocks and ETFs on StockCard. I leave a link to that list in the show notes too. Let's recap UI path's fundamental analysis. The revenue is growing, even though the growth speed has decelerated. The company was profitable before and it still is on a non gap basis. UiPath has $2 billion in cash and cash equivalents and no debt it used to generate free cash flow, and it still is non gap free cash flow positive. It's priced eight times sales, which is an expensive valuation, but much lower than the likes of NVIDIA as a comparison. Is the valuation justified? To grow sales eight times in 10 years, UiPath needs to grow its revenue by 23% annually. The good news is that the required growth rate is lower than UiPath's compounded annual growth in the last few years, even though its latest quarterly growth rate isn't as high. 
So what should we do with the UI passes and stock knowing all that information? First and foremost, it is certainly cheaper and more reasonably priced compared to NVIDIA, while it still benefits from the AI boom. It isn't exactly the generative AI infrastructure developer that NVIDIA is, but certainly it has a rapidly growing market. Most importantly, it allows other enterprises and companies to adopt the generative AI application within their organizations, which can boost UI passes revenue in the coming quarters. The risk is that if by any chance the revenue growth slows down and the company doesn't make up for this loss of revenue with high profitability, then we will be in serious trouble. It isn't a slam dunk stock, but nothing is. Remember, the company is a recent IPO, but was founded in 2005, almost 18 years ago. So by now, it should have founded its selling rhythm. At nearly $10 billion in market cap, it is just at the threshold of a small company's I like to invest. I already indirectly invested in this stock because of ARKK's 6% allocation to this company. If you don't have an ETF like ARKK that bets big on UI Pass, this can be a stock to buy now and monitor and add more as it continues to prove it can grow its revenue rapidly and expand its profits. Share your strategy in the comments so that we can all learn from each other. I'll see you next time.